What's up guys, I'm Twinkie and with Noodle being busy doing his video guides I will be doing a timeline story of the lore and history that leads to the events that happen in the X universe and throughout the X series, along with the detailed description of the races that appear in the game. The timeline I will be using is from the Argonopedia site, the links in the description, and edited with more detailed and thorough information from the other sites such as Wikis, Egosoft's website and an extremely detailed X encyclopedia by Halk T. Krauts. The aim of these videos is to make the lore of the game more digestible for everybody interested and also for me to learn the lore having not played any of the games, but don't fret. Noodle has played a lot of these games, so he will be my stamp of approval. Apologies for the long intro, but credit is due to the information holders, so on that note, let's get started. Approximately 5 billion years before the Earth years, the first species of the Ancients, also known as the Old Ones, came into existence. But let's talk a little bit about the Ancients, who are they? The Ancients are not a single species, but rather a gasseled of possibly thousands of races who over unimaginable spans of time each surrendered their individuality to become in effect a single entity. Approximately 3 billion 500 million years before Earth years, species from the outer galaxies of the universe begin to form the community of the Ancients. This process was not swift, nor was it accomplished without difficulty or trauma. It took, in fact, several full galactic rotations, hundreds of millions of years for the Ancients to achieve their present form of a virtual physical Type 3 civilization in transition to Type 4. All the species which would ultimately merge to form the race known as the Ancients were initially Type 0 civilizations. To transition to a Type 1 civilization, it took a few hundred years. The development to a Type 2 civilization would require hundreds and thousands of years to transition. Over a billion years would pass before they achieved their present state. Whether or not it is possible for them to ascend to the next level of civilization depends entirely on the transition time. Approximately 1 billion 500 million years before Earth years, the Great War Against the Outsiders began. The Outsiders is a species supposedly coming from outside the universe. Let's talk a little about why the Ancients went to war with the Outsiders. Approximately 1.5 billion years ago, the Ancients noticed for the first time that changes were slowly occurring in some physical constants. The first affected were the speed of light, the atomic fine structure constant and the proton rest mass. Individually, changes were almost insignificant but taken together they violated the second law of thermodynamics. The universe was losing energy, something that should have been impossible. A theory was swiftly established that the observed change in physical constants was not natural in basis, as any continued change would render it impossible for life in the universe to continue. It was thought that a type 5 or even a type 6 civilization from beyond the known universe must be responsible. The change in physical constants, therefore, was the result of this civilization, the Outsiders, attempting to draw energy from the universe. The change in physical constants, however, continued, as either the attempts at communication had simply failed, or the Outsiders had chosen to ignore them. After a hundred million years of frustrated powerlessness, the Ancients finally observed the appearance of several probes the size of star systems. It was the Ancients that finally succeeded in destroying one of the probes and a hundred million Outsiders were captured. The captured Outsiders were placed in a temporal status and transported by drone vessels to remote sites within the local group. It was at this point the changes to physical constants ceased. Approximately one billion years before Earth years, the community of the Ancients solidifies to the form still in existence to this present day. They start building jump gates and began mapping the galaxy, but Earth's star system is not visited for unknown reasons. What are jump gates? The gates in the X universe are the current means of traversing the universe. They allow great distances between star systems or sectors to be travelled at a fraction of the time it would take to do this using conventional means. Approximately 500 years before Earth years, the first completely mechanical species, the Sonan, is promoted to members of the Old Ones, or the Ancients. From then on, they are executive members of the Ancients. 
Approximately 500 million years ago, the Soan were accepted into a group of species making up the ancient core races. No longer merely an executive, they now had full status of ancients. These core races are a group of civilizations representing the earliest beginnings of what would become the ancients. With the exception of the latecomer Sonan, none of these races still exist in physical form. It is probable that the Sonan will retain their physical form until the achievement of the Great Objectives, making them likely to be the last physical or real life forms in the universe. Approximately 50,000 years before Earth years, a fleet of ships land on Nishala, the Boron homeworld, and begin to study the species. They are discovered by an indigenous race, the Boron, and begin to provide knowledge. They are known as the Helpers. What are the Boron? The Borons are a sub-aquatic race. Borons possess six main tentacles, of which four are larger and stronger than the others. In addition, they have a varying number of smaller tentacles called swarmers. Mature Boron are capable of interlocking the few bones within their main tentacles, giving them the ability to hold and manipulate objects. The body has a method of propulsion similar to that of a terrestrial squid. Liquid is taken in through their gills and expelled with force through a siphon at their rear. The species possesses three genders, male, female and la. Although not fully necessary for sexual reproduction, the presence of a la during mating is greatly valued. Boron have a life expectancy of around 35 years. Now let's dive into a bit of the history of the boron and what happened to the race. Borons evolved on a predominantly oceanic world named Nishala, or more simply Nishala. It was always and remains the seat of government and the most important planet of the Queendom of Boron. By nature, completely pacific, before the Borons' development of space travel, there was not a single incident of aggression between any members of the race, and hence their total lack of military development. Roughly 50,000 years ago, the Boron were visited and to some degree intellectually elevated by another species calling itself Halpers. This race, still unidentified but categorically neither ancient nor Sonan, left without a trace a couple of generations later, leaving behind the legacy of knowledge and technological advancement that permitted the Boron to become a fully spacefaring species. In turn, this led to Nishala being discovered by other, more adversarial species, such as the Split, at which point, forced by circumstance, this peaceful race developed first the ability to defend itself and then to go on the attack. Right, that's all we got for this episode. In the next one, we will be jumping to 1969 and finding out how Earth and humanity gained jump gate knowledge and why, what or how that impacted the ancients and other species. Right, I hope you all enjoyed. Before you go, all credit for the information I have found on the X-Series lore is from Wiki's Argonopedia, Egosoft Forums, and a very detailed X-Encyclopedia by Helg T. Kraut. All links for this info will be in the description. Also, I would like to ask if I have missed out any key information, then please be a legend and post it in the comments for others to read. Like, subscribe, etc. Thanks, peace.